In this video, I'm gonna show you some easy hacks for filming at home. Keep watching! Hey everyone, it's JJ from Wondershare Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. Have you ever wanted to film from home but you were missing some filming gear? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you some tricks and tips that'll be helpful for filming at home. Let's get into it. Shaping light is very common in filmmaking. The process of shaping light is also the process of creating and guiding shadows. For example, when I set up a light near the subject, the light might leak onto the background, so I'll need to shape it to block the light from hitting the background. A flag is a piece of thick black fabric that does not reflect light. This means on a film set, a flag is used to absorb and shape light. You can make your own flag at home using cardboard and a black t-shirt. I bought this piece of cardboard from a nearby stationery store. For the black t-shirt, I'm using an old t-shirt that I don't wear anymore. You can also find these at your local thrift store. Make sure the board is not too big so you can fit this t-shirt around it. All you have to do is wrap and secure the t-shirt around the board. Since this t-shirt is slightly bigger than the board, I'm gonna tie the sleeves to secure the t-shirt. You can also use tape to secure the t-shirt. With this DIY flag, you can now shape and block light while filming at home. Some fabric is not fireproof, so always keep an eye on the flag. Shaping light can also be done directly on LED light bulbs. On a professional set, black wrap is used to block and shape light. Black wrap is made of aluminum, so it's easy when it comes to shaping and blocking light. Household aluminum foil has similar characteristics, so they can be alternatives to black wrap while filming at home. To shape the light for this lamp, I'm going to carefully wrap the bulb before I install it onto the lamp. Be careful with this step. You don't want the foil to touch the bottom part of the bulb. Now leave a small part on the top and cover the part on the side. Make sure the switch on the lamp is off and install the light bulb. And now when you turn the lamp on, the light has been shaped into a smaller light source. However, foil will also absorb heat. So we suggest using aluminum foil on LED light bulbs so it does not produce too much heat while the lights are on. In the previous tip, I talked about shaping and blocking light using aluminum foil. Now I'm gonna show you how to make a reflector that adds more light using the same aluminum foil. A reflector is an improvised or specialized reflective surface that redirects light to a specific subject or object. Foil has a reflective surface when applied to a flat surface. This makes the best alternative to professional reflectors. I'm gonna grab another cardboard, and then taking the foil, wrap the board as smoothly as I can without creating too many creases. The smoother, the better. Once you're done, check out how it works. This is our test and the results look pretty good. To add light to a subject, you can also create your own LED panel using LED light strips. LED light strips do not provide broad light when they are spread as a straight line. However, we can use cardboard and an LED strip to create a broader light source. Cut the cardboard into an ideal size and then stick the LED strip onto it in a spiral shape. Make sure the gaps between each circle do not change too much. Now that we have a broader light source, let's turn it on and see how it looks. Looks nice. Yeah, I think it's a little bit too much light. I think it needs to be diffused, and you can diffuse it using a transparent dust mat. Light diffusers are used often on professional sets to reduce harsh shadows and create even and soft lighting. I'm gonna use this transparent dust mat, which you can find at any household store, as an alternative to a diffuser and cover the LED panel directly to soften the light. How does it look? But wait, we have one more bonus tip for you. Create your own ethereal fan moment. I really like that last hack. It made me feel like a princess. And there you go. Hacks on how to film from home. What other DIY filming tips do you want to learn? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Keep creating. Bye. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Jump cut it professional editing right here. Make a mistake, add a jump cut. <laughs>